Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about uh, molecular missions and uh, molecular motors. Before going into detail, first we have to know the meaning of these molecular missions and molecular motor. Molecular missions and molecular motor, these are made up of uh, many number of uh, molecular components. These molecular components gives response to external stimulation in the form of some mechanical work. That means they are doing some mechanical function when we stimulate them from external source. These are the molecular missions. And the next one is a molecular motor. This is also made up of many number of small molecules which consumes energy from chemical reaction and they are doing some work. So, and they are converting that chemical energy into mechanical energy. These are the kind of molecular motors. These molecular mission and molecular motors are very important. They are doing a lot of functions in biological systems. The, all these things, we have, whatever we are discussing here, that is from biology and chemistry. So, these are molecular missions and molecular motors involving a lot of biological functions like uh, digestion of food and uh, uh, next one is uh, DNA replication and a lot of things are there. So, we are, I have given one, uh, one best example. You see that protein kinesin, protein kinesin. In this uh, small, small uh, animation, that the protein kinesin structure is given there. This protein kinesin is made up of many number of small molecules and they have combined it together and uh, it is having two motors. This one is the machine and which is contained, which is combined with uh, motors. So this is called as a motors. These motors are also made up of uh, many number of small molecules. So now, how it is, how it is working? So this, uh, this, uh, uh, this motors needs energy to work. So it is getting energy by the exchange of uh, ADP with the ATP. That means uh, from the hydrolysis of uh, ATP, it is getting uh, it is getting that ADP and it is moving. Again, uh, once again, that ADP is converted into ATP is converted into ADP. So the interconversion of ADP and ADP gives energy for these molecular uh, molecular missions to work here. In that way, it is doing a lot of work in our biological system. System. By consuming energy from this chemical reaction, it makes a movement on the microtubule filaments. So these things are happening in our biological system. This is called as a molecular missions or molecular motors. So next thing we are going to discuss about rotaxanes and the catenanes. First one is a, what is in by rotaxane. So name implies, name itself implies that rota axis, that means uh, rotaxanes means wheels and axle. Another catena, catena means uh, chain. These are the important uh, meaning of this. These are the artificial molecular missions. This is not a natural and we are making this artificial molecular missions uh, to use to make that uh, failure the biological function. So if any biological function has been failed because of the natural missions, then we can implement these artificial molecular missions uh, to make that uh, function to carry over so next one is uh, this uh, compare we can compare this uh, uh, this uh, rotaxanes uh, here so here uh, uh, that uh, two dumbbells are there these two dumbbells are there at the corners of that uh, rod and uh, one chain is one macromolecular chain is placed between these two dumbbells and this these two dumbbells cannot allow this uh, the chain to go out of this so always this chain has been locked between these two dumbbells only this is called as a rotaxane. So we can compare this. Uh, actually, this is the model. This is model for chemical chemical structure. So chemical structure is given here. This dumbbell is made up of a triphenyl group. This is the dumbbell. Here also, this is made up of uh, that a triphenyl group is made up of a dumbbell. And uh, that macromolecule acts as a chain there. Macromolecule is acts as a chain there. And uh, between these two dumbbells, the oxygen is there. Here also one oxygen and here also one oxygen is there. These oxygens we may uh, we may uh, compare with this. Two structure, two, two colored structures. So now, what we are doing? We are giving some external stimulation here now. See this video. If you are giving some external stimulation, then that uh, ring starts to move towards this dumbbell. If you start that external stimulation, that ring attains its original original position. So in, by this, uh, if you stimulate that, then ring will move towards uh, this dumbbell. If you start that stimulation, the ring will attain that original previous position. So by this, uh, we can make these uh, uh, rotaxanes to carry over a lot of biological functions. This is called as an artificial molecular machine. So next topic is uh, catenanes. In this catenane, 
we, we are uh, we are having this chemical structure here two macromolecular chains are interlocked together interlocked together and uh, see that uh, these interlocked uh, macro cycles uh, that animation i have shown here these chains we cannot uh, take out of uh, take out from each other because because uh, all these things are made up of covalent bond so if we want to take this chain out we have to break that covalent bond this uh, this rotation of these chain molecules uh, are also used to construct uh, lot of uh, by the uh, lot of that molecular machines as well as molecular motors so these are uh, mo these molecular uh, these uh, these rotaxins and their catenins we can use to build a lot of artificial molecular machines uh, which has to be uh, required for biological functions for our human body or some other biological systems so these are the important topics here